Right, hello. Today, um, what did I say today? I've done a video a little while ago for you. Um, and I said I hadn't done anything high voltage in a long time because I haven't been feeling up to it. Um, and it made me feel quite bad. It made me feel quite sad actually. I haven't actually been able to play with any. So, um, this is a video request for many, many people. As you can see, I've got my Variac um, running. It is set, you probably can't see that from here, but it is set at 240 volts. Obviously, I've got the foot switch down here. It's not doing anything because my system's not turned on yet. Um, and I thought that easy thing to do, something that everyone wants to see, is this transformer running with the shunt tick out. I'm going to call it a shunt. I don't know what it's really called, but we'll call it a shunt. So first of all, I'm going to show you what it's like with it in there, and then I'm just going to take it out and show you the difference. I had a few people say, yeah, it'll turn it into a monster. I had a few people say, oh, it won't make that much difference. Um, so I thought, right, let's try it. So here we go. Um, I'll put that there just so you can see just the top of this electrode because that's the one I'm going to be taking an arc from. Um, I'm going to turn the key on so everything is now live and I will try and give you a bit of an amp readout um, to how many amps this is actually pulling off my Variac as well. So that is it fully, fully, um, I don't know, fully, I don't know what you would, what, what, what we're going to call it, um, but lowest power it can be, there you go, that's the easy term for it, and actually I'm going to show you, um, got my amp gauges up there, I'm going to show you, put an arc and you can watch the two amp gauges, that one there is, um, before the Variac, so it's pre-Variac, that one's post-Variac, and that one goes up to 50 milliamp, uh, 50 amps, sorry, that one's 200 amps, but it's actually only 100 amps because I've got it wound around the current transformer twice. You will notice that there is not a movement. No movement whatsoever on those needles. Um, obviously you see this one go up because that's the output voltage. Um, so right, I'll stick your background to there again. You can just see the top. Sorry about this, you can just see the top of that there. Um, should we go for half out? We'll go for half out, and then you can see it. You can step it up a little bit. Right, so then half out. <laughs> Getting a bit there, and the amp meter moved to about two amps. Um, and this is rated to uh, well, it says 3.5 amps maximum. Right, so let's just go for it. Let's take this core out. Shall I show you the amp gauge, the amp meter first? I'll show you the arc first. I'll show you the arc first. Right, are we ready? sort of see that but it makes a huge difference um, try and pull it up problem is my fans cutting and believe it or not it blows around quite a lot Those arcs are about six six inches tall, um, and previously they were about an inch and a half. And I'm just going to switch this off um, so I can't accidentally touch it. Obviously, I didn't run it for very long there. Everything is you know, completely cold, which is always nice. Yep. 
still absolutely room temperature. So let's have a look at the uh, amp gauges while I do it. And obviously I can't be holding anything because I actually need to be concentrating on what I'm doing. I'll zoom you in up there because that's the one you want to see. And switch it back on again and you can see bearing in mind this is supposed to pull no more than 3.15 amps yep. you saw it it's probably about 10 amps I'm actually getting twice the power out of this than it should be so I should do you Another little show of the arc, because I know everyone wants to see it. I want to see it more myself. It's been literally so long since I've done anything with high voltage that... Whoa! <laughs> That's not good. You might have just seen me then for the first ever time. Oh, bloody tripod, man. Right, here we go. Let's go again, Let's have some fun, Let's see some arcs. Yeah, it's actually making that red. So that is still cold, yeah, which is quite nice, quite happy about that. Um, I was informed, um, I can't remember your name, sorry mate, you've got one of these transformers, you've actually got two I think, um, come from Germany, uh, commented on my last video um, that it would be a monster once I took that shunt out, should we call it? and it would seem that it is quite a monster I am actually not kidding when you consider that that is that's given off arcs well I would have said that is given off arcs probably about I don't know let's have a see I don't know if I've actually got anything steel measure just what you need so that is actually no good whatsoever because it's actually a scale measurement. So for anyone that works in centimetres, I can give you a rough idea in centimetres on how big it's going. Right, so it's starting at eight. That's not going to work. Well, I can tell you, working it out, it is around six inch arcs. I'm going to, I'm going to go for a six inch arc, and it's probably actually bigger. KV, so I don't know how many milliamps that is, um, but that is um, that is pushing it. I mean, I've seen, I've not even seen that bigger arcs off of a, off of an MOT. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. So anyway, there we go. We had high voltage. Thanks for watching.